But if you sit with it, read it, وَالتَّدَبُّرْ أَفَلَا يَتَّدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ You sit with it, you contemplate its meanings, then inshallah you can start to think about where is its place going to be in my life? And not just the makan, but yani al maqam. Not just, there's a, there's a word in Arabic. Many, some of you will know, makan. Right? It's related to the root of kaun, meaning to be, so it's in a place. But Allah Ta'ala, when it comes to the ashab al Quran, or man hum al muttaqun, when it comes to the people of the Quran, who are they? They are the people of taqwa, the muttaqun. إن المتقين مفازا إن المتقين في مقام أمين أو بالرواية مثلا بقراءة إمام نافع إمام المدينة إن المتقين في مقام أمين As we know that Allah Ta'ala says what? Many of the righteous people, the muttaqin, the people of taqwa, the people that fear Allah, that fear the fire, that fear His punishment and long for His mercy and hope for His reward. They will be in a maqam وَمَا مَعْنَا الْمَقَامِ وَمَا هُوَ الْفَرْقِ بَيْنَ الْمُقَامِ So what does maqam mean? And how does it differ from muqam? Al-maftuha wal madmuma. What is the difference here between one little haraka, one little vow of a versus u, maqam and muqam? What's the difference? The ulama have said, and you can read it both ways. The ulama have said that, for instance, if you read it with maqam, إِنَّ الْمُتَقِينَ فِي maqam amin. The righteous people, the people of taqwa, mm -hmm. they will be in a, yani fi qiyam, ameen. They will be in good standing. That can apply to this life, and of course, to the next. Fa al al taliya, right, ba'daha, right, fi jannatin wa'yun. Because the following verse says what? They will be amongst fountains and gardens. So the first meaning you can read, it means you're in good standing in a kind of metaphorical way. Yani majazi. The second way you can read muqam. And this is from the qira'a, from the way of reciting from the Imam of Medina, known as Imam Nafi' rahimullah. May Allah have mercy on him. And in his recitation, it is muqam. Muqam means what? Iqama. It means not figuratively, but literally, you will be in a standing place. Like when we get ready to pray, we make the iqama. Qad qamati salah. For instance, when we call the iqama for salah, whatever you are doing, if you are at the door, if you are over there, if you are not here, you come to here. You come to this very specific place. So that's some of the meaning between maqam and again, al ma'na wahid. The meaning here is one. And most importantly, wasifa wahida. The attribute that Allah puts to both of them is both what? Ameen. Now, what does Ameen mean? We might think Ameen means like trustworthy. Mathalan, min al laqab al nabi alayhi salam, huwa al Ameen. Like one of the nicknames given to the Prophet. That he's referred to as Amin. And so we might think all oh, it means to be trustworthy because the Prophet ﷺ indeed was a trustworthy man. But the other meaning, the greater meaning, the implication you could say of Amin is to be safe, is to have safety and security. Min alam, min ju'a, min khawf, right, from pain. From death, min al maut, min jua, min hunger, from any kind of suffering or loss, naqas, right? That you're safe from any loss. This is the meaning to be, for something to be ameen. So when we think about an Nabi al Mustafa al Ameen, when we think about the Prophet, وسلم, Allah's chosen Prophet, that he is al Ameen. Why? Because the hidayah that he taught, the book that he preached, the lifestyle that he demonstrated is to do what? To save us from the fire. To save us from pain. To save us from khas. Not just simply naqas, but inshallah, la nakunanna min al khasirin fil jannah. That we will never be amongst the losers in the next life. And that inshallah, we will be distanced from the fire 
and will be brought close to the garden. This is what it means for something to be of his sunnah, alayhi salam. This is what it means to be his follower. And so the muttaqeen, they will be in either a standing with their Lord in their judgment on the day of judgment, of which they will be ameen. And likewise, if you take the qira'ah, the reading of muqam, it means you will literally be in a place in Jannah. Summiyat muqam al-ameen. You will be in a place in Jannah that it is safe, or that as some of the ulama have said, there's even like a, t like a town, so to speak, a location in Jannah, in the garden, that is called permanent safety. Indestructible, irrefutable, incontrovertible safety. So when we recite in a few minutes, Surah Al-Fatiha, and at the end of it, you say, Ameen. Think about what are you saying Ameen to? You are saying, Ameen to Ya Allah, make me safe. Make me safe from your adab. Make me safe from my own self. Meaning that what? Because Allah Ta'ala says that on that day, لِتُجْزِيَ كُلُّ نَفْسٌ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُظْلَمُونَ On that day, every soul will simply be repaid for what it did. If it did good, then the jaza will be good. And if it did evil, then the jaza will be evil. So we ask Allah to save us from ourselves and from a jaza, su'al jaza. Wa na'udhu billahi min su'al jaza. We ask Allah Ta'ala to save us from an evil recompense in the next life. So when we say, Ameen, when you say Ameen in your dua, this is what the meaning is. Allahumma, oh Allah, take me to the place. That either in its attributes, fi sifatiha, take me to that place that its attributes are safe, or literally take me to the actual place of safety. So when we talk about inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubarakah, and we reveal this Quran in a beautiful, blessed night. This is the significance of this, that we want to be taken to a place of, of which there, like, like Allah Ta'ala says, لا يذوقون فيها, right, الموت, لا يذوقون الموت. They will not experience, they will not taste إلا الموت الأولى, except for the first and the only death. We all have to go through that. We will, none of us will be able to escape the experience and the taste of death. We all have to go through that. But if we understand that even in dying, fi amana, in nu'minu billahi wa rusulihi wa kutubihi wa malaikatihi wa kullu al-arkan al-iman, if we believe in Allah Ta'ala, wahda, alone and one, and we believe in his messengers, and we believe in his books, and his angels, and the unseen, and all of those things. Al-Qadr, wal-yawm al-qiyamah, wa kullu hakadha. We believe in all of that. And then we have to go through the, 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 the crucible of death. We have to go through that tough. Understand that even though I have to die, I will still, inshallah, be safe. I will be safe in the, in the grave. I will be safe on the day of judgment. Inshallah, I will be safe. You will be safe. The Muslims will be safe when they are raised by Allah Ta'ala. Your beloved messenger that was sent to you as a rahmah said, all of my ummah, they will be forgiven. As I mentioned last time, not to cheat the hadith of completing it, Except for those that commit their sins openly and brag about it and talk about it and don't feel remorse over it. But if we do the other, كل أمة مفعن. All of my ummah, they are forgiven. So whether we are talking metaphorically, and that doesn't mean that it's not real, just in the abstract, that we are trying to get to a place of safety. إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي مَقَامٍ أَمِينٍ 
Or I'm trying to literally get to that place. Because the next ayah says, Fi jannatin wa uyun. They will be amongst gardens and they will be amongst fountains. So even if you take it in the general, it means what? The consequence in the akhirah is real. Maqam aw muqam, al ma'na wahid. The meaning is one, and the consequences, you will be amongst gardens and fountains. يَلْبَسُونَ مِنْ سُنْدُسٍ وَإِسْتَبْرَقٍ مُتَقَابِلِينَ And you will wear the best and most beautiful clothes, and you will be honored by Allah Ta'ala. فَضْلٌ مِنْ رَبِّكَ That is a great honor from your Lord. Remember this. So just that one simple word, when we recite every day, because sometimes we get in the habit, we get into the habit. As we mentioned many weeks ago in, in our khatira, I said, how many of us, we don't, we make the taqbir al-ihram, we begin our prayer, and then we istaqaydna, we wake up at ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, or maybe we wake up at sirat al-ladhina anamta alayhim. The first part, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, maliki yawm ad we, we kind of slept through that. Because it becomes yani it becomes just a habit. But alhamdulillah, even in that, at least towards the end, ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Guide us to the straight path, the straight path to what? Amana. Permanent, permanent, permanent safety from all forms of harm. Permanently protected from any loss and only gain. 